Hello and welcome to Mickey Art. My name is Michelle Edhouse and today um, I'm doing a test that I've been asked to do um, and this test is to show the difference between um, pouring your paint in from low right down here and from up high. So that's what I'm going to do. I've got one of my um, milk bottle canvases. I thought, you know, hey, it's an experiment and if it looks good, maybe I can peel it off and use it as a skin or um, whatever. So I've got four colours. I've got my titanium white from Reno, uh, sorry, from Reeves and that is just freshly mixed today so I'm hoping I've, it's runny enough. Um, I've got my Thalo Blue, PH Thalo. Um, I've got, this is Cobalt Blue and Viridian Hue mixed to make a um, teal aqua kind of thing. And I've got my Reeves. Uh, no, this is Reno Art. Reno Art Crimson Red. Now, um, these two already have silicon in them, although they've been mixed a bit. So I'm just going to put some fresh silicon into the Crimson Red. And uh, I use Durex Play Perfect Glide. If you read on the back, it says 100% dimethicone somewhere down here. Here it is, right down there. 100% dimethicone. Yeah, let's see if we can get it to... There we go. So it's the pink and grey bottle. Not the green one, guys. Okay, the green one. It's got all sorts of weird contents in it. So, uh, I can probably zoom you in a little bit, I reckon. Let's give that a go. So these are all prepared. I'm just going to stir this a couple of times. The reason I'm... Okay, so if you want big cells, you need to only stir it a little bit. You do need to stir it enough for it actually get into the paint. Um, but not so much. Like these ones, when I open the lids, they've been pre-mixed with the silicon in them for a while. And they needed a bit of watering down. So by the time I'd watered and mixed and watered and mixed um, that silicon is pretty much emulsified in there I'll probably still get some some cells out of it but they'll be small because that um, silicon is really well mixed in and the white has no silicon in it so let's do this so I'm going to go through all four colors a couple of times in each pot and hopefully get similar amounts. <laughs> I'm a dreamer. I know. Now, obviously, the first layer doesn't matter whether it's black or white. No. <laughs> doesn't matter if you're black or white. Um, doesn't matter if it's from up high or down low. Because um, it's not got anything to mix with. So, ah. Uh, Okay, so if you've ever, let's just take an example uh, where you have had something that's a colour. And you have um, whoa. It's doing interesting things, isn't it? Um, gently pouring it really down low onto this one. And pouring it from up high. You can layer things with gentle and you can really... Um, Gentle and low, you get layered, which is really good for the 
Um, oops, I must. There you go. See, see, perfect example. Look, the white's disappeared when I poured it from up high, but it sat on top when it's from down low. So that's a perfect example of what's happened. Um, how's it get any better than that? But what it does is it mixes more in with all the other colours and pushes more colours in and out and round about when it's done from, from up high. It really gets down in there, mixes, mixes the colours really nicely. Well, I like it when it does that. But if you're trying to avoid, say, getting um, a green colour and you've got both blue and yellow in your mix you may want to layer them so that you keep them apart um, oops I didn't put any in this one see how it goes down in probably can't see it disappears I mean goodbye farewell I'll be to Zena Juhu to you and you and you and you and you so we're going to get quite a difference between the two pores because one of them is mixed and one of them is not and so I'm going to move these out of the way now And I'm just going to get <laughs> that large amount of white. Although, silly me, what I should do, and I will do that. Let's get the large blobs out of the way. Please hold while I find some assistance. <laughs> um... What I'm going to do, oh, you'll be great assistant. I'm going to put my pots onto my Lazy Susan. And then I'm going to put my thing on top of there. And then, are we ready for this? One, two, three, flip. And there we have... Now, them both flipped over. What I'm going to do is put a line of white. See, I should have left that white in there and just spread it out, but it didn't. Okay, so they've both been poured at the same time, both using the same colours in the same order. Only thing is, do we know which way round they are? <laughs> And that flipping process, I don't think I know which one's which. Anyway, we'll soon find out because I'll be able to tell. Ready, set, go. There we go. See, that one has got the layers showing. That one doesn't. So let's just thingy them around a bit. Does it get any better than this? Just gonna go over the whole lot once with to get air bubbles out. And you can see there's a lot more air bubbles in the up high one because there was pressure put onto that, forcing air down as well as the paint. I don't want you to go over the side. Come down over here. Okay, fine, you can go over the side. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to bring it up close to you so I can show you what I'm looking at. 
what I'm seeing as the differences. The layered one, can you see those beautiful multicolored cells? And um, so I can get it. And they've got layer upon layer upon layer. So that's where the paint um, was layered on top of each other and then the silicon just rose up through all the layers and pushed it out like that. Over here, we've got more of a melded, um, blurredness to it. Okay. So it really is a matter of personal choice. I got so much of this, guys. This is... What if there's no right and wrong? Please, please, please. Have a look at it for you. What do you desire? What is it that you like? What results do you wish to create? This is cool. I can bend my, <laughs> my plastic to get it to curve where I want it to go. How does it get any better than that? Bring it down a bit. Okay. Just still see the white line through. Now that's super cool. I actually like that with them being the same all the way through. I really like it. Um, something really weird has happened. Let me zoom you in. On the layered side. You see how jaggedy that is? That is weird. Now this is really interesting, guys. I... Don't, I never seen this result before um, and it's happened in several places and only on the side that we did layered <laughs> I'm not saying this is because of the layering because I've never had that problem before I've, ne well, I've never had that result before and these are identical paints you saw me you 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 know but we've not got it happening over on the other side. It's looking great. So that's weird. I wonder if I just got too close with the torch over that side or quite what happened. I'm not sure. But how does it get any better than that? I do like it. I, <laughs> I've managed to get paint on the underside, which is not. Not my ideal. Now one of the things with using these melted plastics is it's going to run. It's not going to... It's not going to stay put. It's not, you know? It It's going to run around. It's like a little kid with ADHD. It's going to run round and round and round and round and round. And no matter how often you tell it to stay still, it's not going to. All right, they're not programmed to stay still. And how can you use that to your advantage is my question. Instead of making them wrong, how can you use it to your advantage? How can they create a reality for themselves that's different and greater? There you go. I'm giving you an X-Men talk now. So, I like it. I like it a lot. I'm going to let it dry. And that side is really weirding me out. It's the whole side. Except for those really cool cells I showed you at the beginning, because those were on the layered side. But that whole... I wonder if there's something in that tin. Oh, well, now I look at it, I'm actually seeing some happening. On the other side of the line, there's a little bit of it going on in there. 
But guys, there is a lot of it going on over here. Maybe I burnt the paint. If you know, watching it noticed anything I did different, let me know in the comments. But I really like that. I like it, I like it, I like it a lot. So I'll see you, your time, really, really soon with the dry result. Thanks for watching. Okay, so here it is. It dried looking pretty much identical to how we left it. Um, this one is super shiny. I'm really impressed with this. It's, um, it's cool. And this bizarre behavior over on the side, I have no explanation. It's definitely not to do with how high you pour your paint in that creates that. I think I probably got a bit too close with the heat gun or something. But look at those cells. Aren't they pretty? How does it get better? But what I do want you to look at is how clean and crisp the color definition is over here. How we've got the rings looking thing up there. They're very similar. There's not too much blending. And whereas if we go over to where it was nice and high, there's a lot more blending of color. And uh, it's definitely, definitely different. So there you go. That's what happens when you pour from a pie and when you don't, when you layer it nicely and gently. So I hope you enjoyed that. Um, I'm going to let this one dry completely. And, um, it's still a little bit damp in places. And then I'm going to have a go at peeling it off because somebody was saying about... Yeah, no, it's not dry. Don't do it, Michelle. Don't, don't do it. Um, about how easy it should feel off being on a um, plastic surface. So I'm going to give that a go. And uh, I'll let you know the results of that in a future video. I adore you all. Here's a heads up. Wednesday. No, Thursday. Day after Anzac Day. Um... I will be going live so there what day is it today today is Saturday Sunday no yes today's Sunday sorry I'm pre-recording these because I am teaching a four-day class so I'm pre-recording these today's Sunday you're getting this Sunday and on Thursday New Zealand time so in America and Europe that might be Wednesday I'm going to be going live and I need to look at my calendar and book a time but I'll let you know um, definitely in advance so keep an eye on my channel for the notifications of when I'll be going live and I look forward to playing with you seeing what fun we can have how does it get any better than this bye bye